Hello, today we're taking a look at Viper Advanced Security. This is a home edition that allows you to safeguard your PC, your private info and data on your machine here. Uh, one that is very advanced in security as far as defending against ransomware, Trojans, providing a firewall on your PC. And we're also gonna show you how you can get 20% off Viper Advanced Security through our link. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Now, that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the application here. So Viper Advanced Security is all about protecting and keeping your computer safe, your data, all your sensitive information. It provides uh, multiple levels of protection from antivirus, um, keeping you updated on the latest threats, and of course, providing you a firewall, all of which you can see here in the main interface as active. It'll show you your information as far as your last scan and your next schedule scan. You can run a manual scan here as far as doing a full scan, which will scan all the sectors and data of your hard drive. A quick scan, which will just do initial files and or a custom scan. This allows you to see what um, things like, you know, uh, running programs, Windows registry, cookies. You can kind of define when it comes to a custom scan. So let's say you just want to, you know, scan a new folder or a file you downloaded. You can easily go ahead and do that here. Um, additionally, I can just run a quick scan here. That's what I'm going to go ahead and do as a test. So you can see the scan runs here on the left. This is just a quick scan. So it's gonna go ahead and run through just the initial files, kind of surface level. But this is a great way to kind of see initially on your PC if there's any threats or anything that you may need to worry about. Additionally, like I mentioned, you also have the option to set a schedule scan. You can see I have a default one here set uh, Monday through uh, Sunday at 10 a.m. and then on Sunday at 10 p.m. You can go ahead and define this when it's more suitable for you depending on your schedule and how you use your machine. As the scan runs here, you can see you can still navigate throughout the interface. What's really cool is they have a timeline here. This timeline will show you logs of things that have ran within Viper security. Um, so you can kind of see things that have gone through, whether something was turned off or on, a scan was run, so on and so forth. By clicking on account, you can see the status of your Viper advanced security. In this case, I'm on a trial account. If you have the pro version, I'll go ahead and showcase that or the full version. You can go ahead and change the actual theme of your software here. So if you want to kind of customize the look and feel, it's a nice little touch. And last but not least, to manage all of your settings in Viper Security, you have the Manage tab. This allows you to see files that are quarantined and define what you do with quarantine files. Quarantine essentially means if it finds a threat, it's going to go ahead and put it in a folder that's sealed off from affecting your PC. You can then decide what to do with that threat, whether or not it's a real threat, if it's something that can harm your computer, you can tell it to delete immediately, um, after a week, after a month, so on and so forth. Advanced active protection will scan your computer in real time. So when they're opened or copied, that's a really, really great feature. So this means that if you're opening a file that may be a potential threat, or if you have something on your computer that's an active threat, it's gonna go ahead and detect that rather than just when you scan you know, every week or what have you. Um, and it can also block malicious processes that run in the background, and you can determine whether or not that is um, most secure or performance-based. So basically, um, processes that run in the background are any apps or things of that nature. So if it sees something that may be potentially harming your machine, you can go ahead and define that. Um, you also have other options here, things like quiet mode, which will allow you to um, take care of threats in real time without notifying you. So basically, it'll handle things in the background. It will update you or notify you, so you can turn that on. Um, edge protection. This stops exploits and other online threats from being downloaded by most browsers. So this will monitor your web activity um, and sites that you may want to block. So you can actually manage those allowed sites. Um, very useful if you have like a family computer and you want to go ahead and block certain sites that you know may be harmful. Same thing goes for web filtering. You can go ahead and block the sites all out right here. Um, you can turn that on or off very simply, very easily. Um, if you want to handle threats automatically, like I said, I, I think by default, it's a really good thing to have on. Um, catch up scan. This means if a scheduled scan is missed for any reason, it'll do a quick scan at the next available opportunity, which is a nice feature to have on. And then you have other options here like scan second layer scans, scan removable drives. So that means you can also go ahead and scan external drives, thumb drives, things of that nature. Um, and also you can have things excluded from um, scans. So if you know that there's things that you, you don't want to be scanned or you know that are safe, you can exclude those resources. Um, and you have a lot of other options here if you're running on like a battery or a laptop to kind of save battery, um, the ability to reset your settings overall here. Um, you can check updates here in the updates tab. You can have auto updates run and auto patches run for the latest virus definitions. So as new things get uh, added to the database, it's a good idea to keep those automatically on. 
Um, you can have email filtering on here. So you can have email protection if you're using things like Outlook, anti-phishing um, to protect your data when you're going through, again, so your identity or certain information isn't um, breached. And then last but not least, Viper Advanced Security also includes a firewall. So this filters incoming and outcoming internet traffic on your computer. And you can kind of determine the rules here as far as what it handles. So if you have specific things that you know or specific apps that use certain ports in your firewall, you can go ahead and manage those rules here and add exceptions. As you can see here, by apps, by services, by ports. So this gives you a real easy way to manage your firewall all in one place and very simplified at that. Um, additionally, you have other options here to adjust things like your network settings, process protections, and other firewall default behaviors. Last but not least, you have privacy, which scans for certain things on social networks. So you have social watch, you can scan for that. Secure file eraser. So basically, if you have a thing that you really want to shred on your computer, this is a built-in tool to completely erase that um, without it being you know, retrace uh, recoverable or traceable. And then history cleaner will maintain your privacy by removing things like your browsing history uh, automatically. So these are all additional tools that are kind of built into Viper Advanced Security. It kind of covers from, you know, of course, virus definitions and, and malware that you may accidentally download or breach your computer, firewall, you know, to protect you from oncoming or incoming traffic, um, as well as other mediums of protection like email, privacy, so on and so forth. Now, going back, you can see the scan. If there's anything here that you can, of course, pause it at any point, you can check the processes and how many things have been scanned as far as cookies, registry, or files. And of course, if there's anything that pops up at any given time, it'll go ahead and tell you um, what's going on or if anything was detected. But that's how simple and easy it is to use Viper Security. Really simple interface, really clean here, and just kind of runs minimally here in the background. Research Institute from Germany, AV Test actually did an independent study on Viper Advanced Security and they gave it really good ratings as you can kind of see here how it stacks up uh, in terms of industry averages here, in terms of antivirus security performance. And they measure a couple things like how it slows down your computer when you're uh, launching popular websites, if it affects your performance overall when you're browsing or just using your computer in general. Um, and you can see all the results here it got on a standard PC as well as a high-end PC while using Viper Advanced Security. Additionally, the software has gotten a ton of achievements and awards from the best product of the year from Endpoint Security Management to uh, Info Security's Excellence Award here and just a ton of other accolades. Um, so you can see it's really, really backed up in terms of the security um, field. Now, that all said, you can click on our link down below and get access to our limited coupons. So you definitely want to take advantage of this. This will give you a 20% savings when you're buying it. Um, additionally, if you just want to try it out, there is a 30 day free... Additionally, if you just want to try it out, there is a 30-day free trial for Viper Advanced Security. Again, all available in our link down below. As always, your purchase is protected by the HTTPS protocol, and you're going to want to take advantage of this coupon because it may expire at any time. So this has been Viper Advanced Security. Thanks for watching.